just so confused. Like, I don't understand why it's going that way after the impact. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's because momentum's conserved. We can use an example like this balloon. There's no way that that works. What do you even mean? Don't even worry. After this example, you'll understand it perfectly. Okay! Whoa! The system is made of balloon and the air inside of it. Okay, so we're going to start with a balloon full of air. At this moment in time, the system has zero velocity. Then when I let go of the balloon, the air shoots out of the balloon with a velocity, and the balloon shoots in the opposite direction. I've added some flour inside the balloon so that we can better visualize the direction the air moves out of the balloon. This allows us to clearly see that the air and the balloon are moving in opposite directions. Whenever we analyze the motion, of any system, we will draw a free body diagram, and in some cases, like this one, we'll use a mass velocity diagram. So first, let's start with the free body diagram. In our example, for the sake of our analysis, we are neglecting air resistance and friction. We will draw the bodies that are going to be in motion. Here we draw the air balloon system. Next, we will draw the forces that are acting on these bodies. The air and the balloon both have mass. That means they both have a weight force. This is drawn as mass of either the balloon or mass of the air times gravity. When the balloon is resting on the ground, it also has a normal force the opposite direction of the weight forces. And make sure you always include and define your axes on your drawings. Now that we're done with our free body diagram, let's work on our mass velocity diagrams. We're going to draw two different ones, one for the initial system and one for the system after I release. Initially, the system is all at rest, so the velocity of the system is zero. After release, the balloon moved to the right and the air moved to the left, so their velocities are drawn accordingly. Since this is a mass velocity diagram, we can't forget that each vector is mass times the respective velocity. Since there is no net force acting in the x direction as shown in our free body diagram, we can say that the momentum is conserved in the x direction. We can show this in the following equation. The force exerted over time is equal to change in linear momentum. Since there is no external force in the x direction, then the left side of our equation is equal to zero. Now we can find that the momentum of the balloon after release is equal to the momentum of the air after release. In this case, we saw that momentum was conserved, but you can use these ideas and ways of analysis to any system in motion. Oh my god, dude, that makes so much sense. Thank you so much for explaining that. Of course. Yay!